pretend What does perfect even mean? Is there even such a thing? Oh, can we switch up all the rules? And imagine a utopia Darling, I'm just so fed up with these expectations the video so today we are gonna do one of my favorite videos and that is beauty finds and today we are gonna do Nordstrom beauty finds I've never done a Nordstrom beauty find um, although when I went I did see a lot of the stuff that TJ Maxx and Marshalls has so if you guys want to know exactly what I found stay tuned and keep on watching okay guys so I found Becca Chloe and Malika BFF collection this is the highlighter and blush palette for $20 I have never seen this one. And then I've seen this one before. This one was $10. It's half the price at TJ Maxx and Marshalls, but it is just the highlighter. Next is the Becca Chrisley lip gloss set. And this one was for $12.97. And then I found another variation and this one had the lip gloss. It also had a highlighter and an eyeshadow for $19.99. But as you know, these have been in TJ Maxx and Marshalls a long time ago and they were way cheaper. I found this Becca Brow Mousse in Mocha for $7.49 and then I found this Becca Color Corrector in Papaya and it was $7.49 as well. If you've ever tried this, please let me know. I was a little skeptical. And then I found the Bronzing Skin Perfector from Becca for $14.98 and then I found the MAC Grand Illusion Liquid Lip Color in two colors, Broken Hollow and Gilded Age. They were both super, super pretty. They were both $12.97. I still think this is pretty steep for MAC. And then I found two brushes for $11.97. They are two flat shader brushes. And then I found a fluffy powder brush. And this one, I was looking for the price for a very long time. I didn't know it was at the bottom and it was $19.99. Then I found the Laura Mercier Flawless Skin Daily Face Shield for $21.99. And then the Laura Mercier Primers these were pretty expensive, $20. I feel like they're going to be at TJ Maxx soon for way less. Next is the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer. This one was also $25, and I feel like I've seen it for $12 at TJ Maxx and Marshalls, so I wouldn't buy it if I were you. Next is the Ofra Pressed Powder for $15. I have never seen Ofra anywhere, really, except online. And then they also had these lip trios, which were $20. And then there was this It Cosmetics Bye Bye Breakout Powder for oily or acne prone skin in the color tan for $5.94, which I thought was pretty cool. And then there was this full cover concealer for $7.49. And then we found some It Brushes as well for $20, which is a little bit more than Marshalls or TJ Maxx. And then they had this lip stain serum for $15. And then they had the NYX Glitter. I love this glitter. You can put it anywhere and it works so well for only $5.99. And then they had the NYX On The Rise Mascara. This was also $5.99. And they had the NARS Pencil Sharpener, which is $6. It works super good. If you don't have a good one, try it. And then they had the Makeup Geek Palettes. They had two different variations, Ebony and Press. And then they had another one that was called Fair Lady, only $12.97. Next, I found the Stila Stay All Day Concealer for $4.99. I feel like that's the regular price at TJ Maxx and Marshalls. And then this Glow On Your Way Laura Geller set. And this one's $12.97, which is half the price at TJ Maxx and Marshalls. But I love Laura Geller. It's so awesome. The Metallic Sparkle Lipstick for $9.97 in Bionic by Too Faced. This one's also half the price at TJ Maxx and Marshalls. And then MAC Bling Thing for $5.49. I love this one. I actually have it. It's a great topper for your lipsticks. They also had the Pretty Punk MAC eyeshadow palette for $22.97, as well as the Raver Girl one. These are the same price at TJ Maxx and Marshalls, so there's no difference in that unless you're getting it in the clearance for $16. The matching lip gloss for $7.97, and then I found this eyeshadow in Nice Energy, and it was only $7.97, which I've seen them cheaper at TJ Maxx. Guys, if you've never tried this Versicolor stain, these are so nice. They stay all day. I don't know why MAC got rid of them, but they were there for $7.49, which I was totally shook. Next is this Cream Sheen Pink Pearl Pop, which is $10.97, which the MAC lipsticks right now at TJ Maxx and Marshalls have been about $7. And then they had the Liquid Lips, the Retro Matte ones, 
in different colors for $10.97 and this lip glass for $9.97, which I love lip glasses, and this one's in Steel Kiss. Another retro matte. This one's Rich and Relentless. This one's actually a pretty popular one as well. And another color that is also popular is Lady Good To Be, which is this one right here because it is a nude and everyone loves a nude. Next is Tailored to Tease, and this is another matte lipstick that is also really popular. Next is the Smashbox Crystallize Liquid Eyeshadows. I've never seen these before. I've never tried them. But if you guys have, please let me know. There was two different colors, and they were each $9.97. I don't know how much they retail for, but they looked really, really pretty. Next is the Dry Bar Little Lemon Drop for $12, which I feel like this is the same price as going to the Dry Bar and just buying it there. But this for sure I know has a great value. This is the Southern Bell in a box. And this one was $22.97, which is normally $35. And this one is definitely one of my faves. Okay, guys. So when I went to Nordstrom's, I saw a lot of the products that I already saw at TJ Maxx and Marshalls. The prices were just a lot higher than TJ Maxx and Marshalls. And it was the same exact product. The only difference is they did have a lot more um, as far as quantity wise. So if you if that was a product you really really wanted and You're willing to pay five dollars more because you can't find it at TJ Maxx and Marshall's and you're just impatient Then I would say yeah, go ahead and buy it. Um, but if not no some of the stuff was still um, Almost the same price as if you would buy it at a regular Nordstrom's um, that I saw like There was a dry bar brush and it's normally twelve dollars at the dry bar and it's normally $12 at Nordstrom's, and it was still $12 at the rack. So, um, yeah, I just didn't understand, like, why it was still fairly, not fairly priced, but higher priced than the rest of the places. I guess just because it's Nordstrom's. But, um, yeah, if you guys find really good deals at Nordstrom's, let me know. I know they did have, like, the extra clearance center, and those had pretty good products. It was just things that um, I already either had or I just wasn't interested in. But yeah, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!